real critical thing is that every program director, that every department chair is going to be looking at is, do I want this person working with my patients and with me for the next three years? And so having the right approach, the right mindset, the right appreciation, the right humility, all of those factors are, uh, in my mind, as someone who was a department chair for 17 years, more important than how many papers do you have? There are ophthalmology interest groups, and that's a really great place to start as well. Um, and seeking out experiences where you can shadow an ophthalmologist, or um, oftentimes in schools, especially in the early years, there are community health clinics which um, you can go to and um, experience um, what it's like to see patients. Introduce you, yourself to some of the faculty members at your university. See if you can make a connection there and start doing uh, research um, as early as possible. So you really have to convince yourself that this is what you want to do. As an ophthalmologist myself, I'll tell you, it is the best profession in medicine all around. Uh, you get to use the most uh, tech-savvy type gadgets. Uh, you get to take care of uh, interesting patient populations from age zero to 100. Um, you're in the clinic, you're in the operating room, you do a lot of surgeries and procedures. Uh, so it's a very uh, dynamic uh, profession, uh, very rewarding to be able to help somebody improve their sight. So once you make that connection that that's what you're passionate about, um, that is going to translate uh, very easily during your, your interviews that you really care about people and you care about their vision. And if that passion is true, uh, your odds of getting into ophthalmology are very, very high. If ophthalmology is your passion, if you look at that retina for the first time and go, oh my gosh, this is what I want to do the rest of my career, uh, follow your heart. 